Hey, what's going on? I wanted to show you these. The photos from my locker. When did you find this? I think it happened when I was in the shower. Was anybody else in the locker room with no, you? No, but I talked to Lisa right before that. She apologized to me for the way she's been acting. Hey. Oh, what are you doing back there? I was just about to ask you the same thing. Oh, uh, well, I was just coming back to pick up these scans. For prep for tomorrow. Well, those aren't the only pictures you've had your hands on. Robin found these in her locker. You think I did this? Lisa, before you start making excuses, let's just go over a timeline. You come back from Jake's, you talk to Robin. She gets in the shower, comes back and finds these. Oh, well, you're leaving something out. Fill me in. Okay, because uh, after I cut up these photos, I'm sorry, cut Robin out of these uh, photos, I rushed back home and I stuck pins in my You think this is a joke? With Robin, then I ran back. Well, you know what? It is to me, okay? Because honestly, could either of you be any more ridiculous? Why don't you ask my son about that? There literally had to be blood spilled before I told anyone that Sonny Corinthos <laughs> was his father. I don't want this to come to that, though. I did take a pretty good blow to the jaw. Your secret having to do with a woman, by any chance? And an employee. Mm. I'm a guest. The blonde. Dr. Lisa Nile. Mm, she's hot. You and her? Nice. And her and Patrick. While Patrick's wife was away. Are you sure about that? I asked him and he didn't deny it. Now that Robin's back, let's just say Lisa's not used to disappointment. So she still wants Patrick? Yeah, she keeps dropping hints around Robin that Patrick has the potential to be less than faithful. But Robin doesn't see things that way. So she's standing by our man, yeah? I've been in her shoes before. I've been the last to know. Ignoring all the signs, swearing up and down to myself and everyone else around me that what was happening wasn't. And the truth finally came out, it hit me like a free train. And if I could have had a friend there to pull me off the tracks before I got flat. No, be... absolutely not. If you're thinking about telling Robert about this, don't do it. Are you seriously going to stand here and deny that you did this? Okay, what? What are we? Are we in high school? Because I came and I spoke to both of you and I apologized about my part in this dynamic. Well, that doesn't mean that you didn't have time to cut up these photos. Okay, we agreed to keep this on a professional level. All right, so the only cutting I do is in the OR. You know what, why don't we just put everything out into the open? I mean, two of us here know what's happened. We don't need to do that. Sure, no, that sounds great. I would love to know Lisa's version of what happened. Someone's trying to get your attention. What? You're implying that I cut up my own photos? Why, why, why the hell would I do that? I don't know. That's probably a question you should ask your therapist. Um, probably to convince Patrick to stay close to home, to protect you from me as if I'm some sort of nutcase. Yeah, that's sure. That makes a lot of sense because, you know, I did this. Okay, you know what? Do me a favor. If you guys need to spice up your marriage, please just find somebody else to play these head games with. Steve? The truth is either going to come out or it won't. And you don't think I'm obligated to stop a good person from being hurt? Oh, no. If you tell Robin, you're the one that's hurting her. Well, what about you? How do you, uh, what are you feeling about Dr. Lisa Niles? In retrospect, I can see her interest in me was directly proportional to any reaction she could get out of Patrick. Yeah. You know, things happen between people. It's when people get in the middle that you start to get trouble. But I believe that if two people really love each other... I think they do. Then they're going to find their way back. You want my opinion? Yeah. I think this Lisa Niles is a fool. She's chasing after some man that she can't have when she's got a perfectly good man right in her face. And what does that make me? That makes you better off. I mean, somebody's gonna get very lucky with a nice guy like that. Uh, oh, nice guy, sorry. 
Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Kiss of death. Maybe you're kicking yourself for playing doctor with one of your doctors. But uh, at least you didn't fall in love with a guy with a pathological reckless streak. Mm -hmm. John's a car. Steve, I keep trying and trying to save that man from himself, but he's just hell bent on taking down some kind of those. Well, that's a habit that'll surely lower your life expectancy. I just tell myself that I gotta get him out of my life. You know, spare myself the grief. I. I can't take my final goodbye to him being you know, over his coffin. How's that going for you? Just Danny. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got this. I promised you a drink when I pressed you into service to help save Ethan. Even better, I am going to put both of these pictures of margaritas on Mr. Lovett's hospital bill. <laughs> I like the way you think. <laughs> Where are you going? Against my better judgment, I am going to go throw some good money after bed. I'm going to give John one last chance to see the air of his way. Resting. Two bullet holes in the chest, and he thinks he's ready to go home. I told him no. Oh, well, that's your uncle for you. I talked to security. They're gonna look into this. Okay. You know, with everything that happened with Nicholas and Elizabeth's baby, I just I want to go home and hold our little girl. I know. I must have called the nanny ten times to make sure she's okay. Look, I've been uh, I've been thinking about these pictures. You know, even when I had postpartum depression and I was all flipped out, I would never do something that's crazy like that. Of course, wouldn't do anything like this. <gasps> but listening to Lisa, she sounds convincing that she didn't have anything to do with if this. If Lisa didn't do it, who did? I don't know, Robin. Uh, but I was acting kind of crazy while you were gone. I mean, I was running around here. I was kind of out of sorts. I was yelling at people, interns. I made one of the lab techs cry. I'm just saying, if somebody wanted to get back at me, if I crossed the line with someone... So they went into my locker and cut up my face? If they wanted to make me miserable, what better way than to go after the woman I love? I guess it's possible someone else is responsible, but honestly, I think you're letting Lisa off the hook way too easily. 